I'm Dr. Tash. Let's talk about the menstrual cycle and what happens with each phase. The menstrual cycle occurs for one reason only, and that's for pregnancy to occur. It means that an egg has to be released to meet a sperm, so an embryo is made and hence implanted, and hopefully a pregnancy occurs. When we talk about a menstrual cycle, we talk about the length or the time between day one of bleeding to the day just before the next bleed. We call that a cycle. Now, typically, only about 15% of women have an average 28-day cycle. Many women can have a 21-day cycle or an up to 35-day cycle. If your cycle is shorter than 21 days or longer than 35 days, you should probably be speaking to your doctor. However, if you have a cycle that's anywhere between that range, this is generally what happens during that cycle. When we're talking about the menstrual cycle, it's important to realize that the ovary speaks to the lining of the uterus, the endometrium. Here you've got a model of a uterus and an ovary. At the level of the ovary, there are three phases. The first phase is what we call the follicular phase, when follicles develop. The second phase is ovulation, when a follicle goes pop and an egg is released into the fallopian tube. The third phase is called the corpus luteal phase, or the luteal phase, where a very important organ called the corpus luteum is made to pump out lots of hormones that actually support a pregnancy. At the same time that the ovary is going through its phases, the endometrium, the lining of the uterus, is doing its own thing as well, and it too goes through three phases. The first phase is menstruation, when you've got a period. The second phase is what we call the proliferative phase, when there is the growth of the lining of the uterus. And then there is the secretory phase, which is when there's active activity to help that lining become very receptive to a pregnancy. Knowing the menstrual cycle and the phases that are involved means that you'll have a lot more knowledge and hence power to fall pregnant you'll be able to actually have sex at the right time to maximise your chances of falling pregnant.